all of the flowers that I've been sent have now died. These ones are like on their way out, but I thought they were pretty enough, but we'll probably throw them out soon. If any friends are watching, please send me more flowers because I miss having a botanical garden. Also, it's my birthday. So there's another reason to send flowers. So the day that this video goes out, it will be my 26th birthday tomorrow, the 19th of February. What a time to have a birthday. This is probably the first time in my life that I'm having a low key birthday party. And that is not by choice. That is because I'm still recovering from surgery, but it'll still be great. It will still be great. Also this birthday party was planned only a few weeks ahead of time, whereas normally, I start planning my birthday around November. So, whole different ball game here. Anyway, I'm gonna be 26. I'm still counting 26 as mid 20s, like 24 to 26 mid 20s. So not quite in my late 20s yet. Although I am the second half of my 20s. Oh boy. So last year I made a 25 things I learned in 25 years video. This year we're doing 26 things I learned in 26 years. Although most of these things I've learned in the last year. Some of them are overall, but most of it is the stuff that I've learned in my 26th year. When you're 25, is that your 26th year? Yeah, because when you're zero, that's your first year. Maths. Anyway, as written down my list. So here are 26 things that I have learned in 26 years. How to empty and change a stoma bag. Where your appendix is. I still can't get over the fact that the surgeons took out my appendix and forgot to tell me. Imagine if I got abdominal pains that I thought was appendicitis and I go into hospital and I'm like, I think I've got appendicitis. And they're like, lol, no, you don't have an appendix. I've been like, Oh! <laughs> How to use an Xbox controller, at least in very basic turn-based games. I can't be fast. Another gaming related one. I now know the basic rules to League of Legends. I can follow a game. I know the names of some of the characters. Are they called characters or players? I don't know. Still got lots to learn. No matter how old you get, your parents never stop worrying about you. All of my faves are problematic. Just have to accept it. Musicals are my weakness. I learned how to do joined up handwriting and I seem to be the only person I know who still uses joined up handwriting. Although my handwriting changes constantly. Even just on this page where I've written the 26 things, it changes like four or five times using the same pen. I don't get it. I suit about this length hair, like somewhere between my chin and my shoulders. It is extra long now. One, because obviously I didn't go and get it cut whilst I was in hospital, but also I am growing it out to donate it again. But I think that'll be the last time I do it. I want hair this length again. Also, Lucy and Dan and a bunch of you guys have all said that my hair has changed colour. It's gone more blondy ginger. I'm okay with that. I've always had like red to Ooh, flowers. I've always had red tones in my hair and I've always identified as a blonde and then everyone tells me that I'm actually a brunette and it hurts my feelings. So if my hair does go more light and red, I'm okay with that. I am a seven on the Enneagram and I have no idea what my wing is. The wings for seven are either one or five and I don't identify with either of those. Help me out here, guys. Maybe I should call Tessa. There is not enough research into female health. It feels like we are 50 years behind and you've got women screaming their own like anecdotal experiences and then 20 years later, doctors and scientists are like, oh, we finally did the research on that and you, you were right the whole time. Yes, the pill does cause depression. Maybe, who knows, hormonal coil causes flare-ups of ulcerative colitis, but you know, I'm gonna have to wait 20 years for them to do that research to find out. Ah. I can hold a decent conversation in French if I have been drinking and if the other person is really patient and also French. I have mastered the art of inbox zero. Anyone needs help with their emails? Just ask. I don't have to post on Instagram every day. What a life-changing realization. I'm a terrible cook, but I can follow a recipe. I have no instinct when it comes to cooking and flavors. If you just tell me to put in a little bit, I start to panic. I need precise measurements. <laughs> Would you rather be liked or respected is the worst question. I hate that question. Never ask me that question because I don't know the answer. <laughs> I have learned how to have my own opinions rather than ones borrowed from other people. I'm proud of that one. I am not good at fashion, although I would like to be. I can look at people's outfit posts and I can appreciate them, but then I have no idea how to replicate that for myself. Also, I don't really go shopping. Maybe that's my downfall. Going on an internet phone-free holiday was actually easier than expected. You are less addicted to your phone than you thought you were. Good stuff. One thing that you're learning right now is that reforming habits and routine is really, 
hard. Getting back into reading is really difficult. Getting back into work is really difficult, even though your brain is like, I wanna work. Your body's just like, no, let's lay on the sofa and scroll through Instagram. I'm a really hardworking person and I get really stressed when I'm not busy, but I need to cut myself some slack. I've just gone through hell and I'm still not 100% yet. So give yourself a break, Witten. It's okay not to be super busy and productive right now. No one expects you to be. But I want to be. Ugh. I finally learned what the difference is between a sit-up and a crunch. Can't show you right now though. Physically unable to. Here's a deep one, you ready? Going through a health crisis shows who your real friends are. I have learned how buying property and mortgages work. Super complicated and boring. Talking about money helps you to be better at money. Look after your mental health the same way you would your physical health. So if you are physically healthy, you exercise to maintain your physical healthiness. If you are mentally healthy, do things in order to maintain that. Like self-care and therapy maybe. You don't just do the thing once you start having a mental health crisis. You gotta lay the foundations like we do with our physical health. And finally, 26. You never know what life is gonna throw at you. You absolutely never know. Cool, so there we go. Those are 26 things that I've learned in 26 years. Can't believe I'm 26. Thank you for watching this video and I'm going to preemptively say thank you for all of the happy birthday messages. Thank you so much. I'm a big birthday person by the way. So like, please do wish me happy birthday otherwise I won't feel loved. I don't have a PO box so you can't send me anything. But if you do wanna help a girl out because you know, I've also been out of work, there are some Amazon affiliate links in the description and if you buying anything on Amazon, which a lot of people do, then, you know, use use my links, help a, help a girl out. Cause you know, freelance, got no sick pay. I also have a Moon Cup affiliate link and Love Honey and Anne Summers affiliate links. So I'll just throw all of those in the description. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments some things that you have learnt in however many years that you have been on this earth. I will see you in my next video, which might be a February favorites. I'm home now and I've been doing some things, so I got some favorites. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Bye.